Councillor Skelly. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Keenan. Um, I, I want to focus a little bit more on the LRT and just on the businesses within the chamber, uh, small businesses, specifically along the route. Now, I'm hearing from my, my colleagues and from yourself and, and would assume, uh, after listening to this presentation, that we have 100% support behind LRT, and I, I can assure you that isn't the case. I was at a function last night, a, a volunteer banquet, and I asked specifically, um, you know, everybody raise your hand who's in support, raise your hand who isn't, and overwhelmingly the people in the room were not supportive of LRT. Having said that, in, um, in terms of the chamber, have you talked to, and I mean polled, the people along the route who are going to be impacted, and how are they? Are they in support? Are they against it? And have you come up with, because you're coming up with, you're making these statements, but I don't hear any real concrete numbers or, or a study behind supporting it. Thank you. So I will say that um, I'm pretty confident that uh, we have overwhelming support among the thousand businesses within the, that are members of the chamber. I won't presume that we have unanimity among the members, but I also know that uh, uh, not once have I received a phone call from a member expressing uh, concern or uh, opposition to LRT, and not once have we uh, uh, received a resignation um, as a result of our position. Sorry, did you say you have not received any phone calls from people? I have not from, from my members. I have received phone calls. Uh, none none of your members have said that they're opposed to the LRT? Correct. Correct. None of your members are opposed to the LRT. There has not been one member that has resigned due to our position on LRT. Have you spoken to people along the route? Yes. Who and none have shown opposition to the LRT? Well, I, I won't say that. Again, I, so I'm talking about the, my membership. Um, members, many of whom are along the route, uh, but we don't represent all the businesses along the route. Uh, but the members that, uh, that uh, are um, in support of LRT, the ones that I have received phone calls from that are along the route, have expressed concern. They are, they are concerned, absolutely. Um, but they also believe in, in the business case behind this. They believe ultimately that we're going to be a lot better off um, as a result and be able to, to meet those intensification targets. Um, the, the, our businesses want to operate in a city that is 750,000 people, in a city that is a million people. They would love to double the market size of, uh, of this community, and they know that, that this is important to doing so. I think one of the great things about business owners is they understand um, the need for investment to, to make uh, improvements and, and to be able to remain healthy over time. And uh, this is just one of those opportunities. Um, so in terms of the, you know, we have worked with them to, to help explain the project um, and to also explain, and to also explain um, how we're going to, to help mitigate the impact throughout the, the, the course of the project. And uh, we're very focused on that. We're working with Metrolinx and with the City of Hamilton on that very uh, question. It'll be up to Metrolinx and the City of Hamilton that will walk the entire route and will will connect with each of the business and property owners along the way. Um, I'm sure that uh, it would be easy to do a poll of those uh, of those businesses as they do that, but um, I think it's important to address their concerns and I think it's important to, to help them understand how we're going to be able to ride it out. How many members, through the chair, how many members uh, along the route belong to the chamber? Well, there are a lot downtown. There are a lot of the, the larger um, businesses and, and institutions in the city exist in downtown. Um, and I would say that all of them are on the LRT route and will be impacted. Uh, and then as you uh, get into the retail environment... Sorry, repl what did you just say? A lot of, uh, a lot of companies uh, have their headquarters and, or head offices in downtown within the, the downtown BIA, within Jackson Square. So I, I would even count them as being businesses that are on the LRT route and uh, businesses that are obviously going to be impacted by construction. Um, but uh, as you get out into the retail environments, uh, there are fewer uh, retail uh, businesses 
that are members of the chamber, uh, but I do do have a, a handful, I would say 20 or so along the route. So it would be fair to say that uh, the, the chamber, because there may be a perception that the chamber, uh, unlike the BIA, represents the entire um, small business community along the route. So to suggest that that businesses are all in support isn't necessarily accurate. There could be, and probably are, many uh, non-chamber members along the LRT route who are opposed and quite concerned about going out of business because of LRT. I have no doubt. I know that the organization has always attracted the more forward-thinking members within the business community. That's why they invest in this organization and have for 171 years. That's why I would say that the business community overwhelming is, and again, especially, uh, we're talking the 90 to 95, the top 100 employers in this community, all the anchor institutions within this community, and the vast majority of the top leadership within this community. I am confident to represent them here today and say that they are supportive of, of LRT, and I believe that that counts for something. And, and, and I, I agree, but the top employers in our community are not private sector employers either. They're not going to have to worry about losing money. We're talking McMaster, Mohawk, a hospital, another hospital. I mean, these aren't people who are worried about a long-time business folding. They are public sector uh, institutions that don't have to worry about a financial impact due to an LRT, correct? Of the top 100 businesses in no, the top. What, who are, what are our top five or six employers the in the Of the top city? 10? Excuse me, I'm sorry to, to talk over you. Of the top ten, I would say two or three are private sector companies. So our private sector. Fast. Yes, private so sector. So the, the majority of our top employers are public sector and won't worry about losing any dollars because of an LRT. I would say of the top 100 businesses in this community, there's probably 80 to 85 of them would be private sector companies. So in the top ten? Top ten, three. Thank you. Those are my questions.